We know you've been waiting patiently. Guys, welcome back to friends. Sisters Talk TV. This is Sin, one half of Sisters Talk TV. And guys, did you guys see the trailer of Real Housewives of Potomac? Guys, it was giving me so much life. You guys know I love Raw Housewives of Potomac and we review it here on this channel. We're going to talk about all about the review, my thoughts, what I think about it so far. So please stay tuned. Before we get started, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Please make sure you like this video. Please make sure you check out our other video. It really helps us, especially with our algorithm here on YouTube. So make sure you are subscribed. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on to the review, or not even the review, the commentary for the trailer. Okay, so we got the Real Housewives of Potomac. Bravo finally released it today. They gave us a trailer back, you know, but that was just like a teaser. This was the actual trailer, and I have to say I'm so excited for the, um, the season <laughs> like i'm so excited okay so where do we even start okay so we see that there is some trouble there's some friendships they're going to be shaken up and some dynamic groups that's going to be changing so of course we get the whole okay let's start with karen and giselle once again karen and giselle these two are still at it they're not friends um giselle is still well she's still concerned about ray what how much money ray has like why is giselle so invested in ray's pocket so please somebody please tell me why is giselle so invested in how much ray has and if why she's so invested that karen is contributing to you know contributing helping ray with finance with his finances like why is giselle so concerned so please guys Someone tell me, because this has been happening since season one. Every time, any dig that, any digs or reads that Giselle has on Karen, it's always about Ray. It's always about Ray's finances. Like, Giselle really needs to pick something else to pick on Karen about. But, that, but then again, she can't because Karen comes with the reads. So, it's tough for Giselle to go toe-in-toe -to with Karen when it comes to reads. So that's it on Giselle and um, Karen. Then we also get Giselle and Wendy. Giselle is bringing it to the table that of course, Wendy's husband is having an affair. She's like, have you guys heard? She's telling it to, you know, she's being the bone carrier pretty much. And Wendy is not having it with Giselle. She's like, pretty much everything everyone has said about you, it's true. But when it comes to my marriage, please stay out of it she's not gonna play with Giselle about that and all I have to say is Wendy you've seen it happen to Monique you've seen it happen to um to Karen you've seen it happen to Ashley Giselle is going to every every season she's gonna pick a target and for you to even think that you should have tried it very lightly with Giselle um but I'm gonna see how that goes because she's not gonna be playing with Giselle and she looks like she's going to really read Giselle down so when um when do you got your warning of season one <laughs> your first season but I'm gonna have I'm gonna see because she's really not playing with Giselle at all Karen is not playing with Giselle at all and Wendy is not playing with Giselle so Giselle is going to be a lot of people are going to be give, giving her you know from left to right <laughs> left to right so we're gonna see how that goes and then we also get the new girl i think her name is cameron or cam and she's bringing it this is her first season she's really giving it she's not playing she's not even playing with giselle either because in the season um in the trailer she's like she got really really smart with giselle so she looks like she's just not the one to be played with and i'm just excited because we just really need this dynamic shift we also get um juan and um juan and robin robin is i don't know it's like she's going through a stage where she's kind of feeling a little um it's like i don't know if it's like depression she's going through a lot of things and i'm kind of surprised i'm just like are they still going to have are they still are they even gonna get married because Juan proposed to Robin at the end of the season last year. So I'm just like, there's no talks about marriage. I didn't see any talks about marriage during the um, premiere. I mean, not during the premiere, but during the trailer. If you guys heard of anything, did they mention anything? Please let me know because I didn't, 
I like from what I saw, I didn't see them talking about um, marriage or anything or their engagement. So I'm not too sure, guys. So then we also get a glimpse of Candace and the new girl, Cameron. They get into some kind of altercation where they're both throwing something at each other. Now, I'm going to say that although we don't know what the reasoning behind it is or could have been, but keep in mind, Candace, once again, she's in an altercation. Um, season before, she was in an altercation with Candace. I mean, sorry, an altercation with Ashley. And then now she's in an altercation with, she was in an altercation with Monique, now the new girl. So is this going to be every season when is Candace going to be truly hold be held accountable that she is just as she's saying that Monique is aggressive and everyone's called Monique aggressive but Candace is also showing that same attribution as well so we also need to hold Candace um Candace um accountable as well and another thing to mention is Candace when is it's like all these people are getting into altercation with Candace they're Obviously, there is a common denominator, which is Candace. Like, we don't, but I'm going to say that we don't know what it could be or what started. We don't know who provoked it, what happened. But just keep in mind that Candace is getting into another altercation and it is going to be with the new girl. So let's talk about Karen and Ray. So Karen and Ray, they did renew their wedding vows this season and apparently there's going to be a lot of hoopla um, going on. So some of the ladies are not going to be attend or will not be attending or they tried not to attend. I don't know, but apparently produ production had to get in between it because in between because they were not trying to go to Ken I mean Karen's main event. I don't know who those ladies could be, but I'm pretty sure one of them is Giselle. Possibly Robin. I don't know where Ashley, Car um, Candace, and Wendy, and also the new girl where sh their alliances lie currently right now. But I know for sure Giselle is going to be one of those people that tried not to go to Karen's event. I mean, <laughs> I mean, let's let's think so about we it. also really need to think about what happened last season with monique so candace is continuously getting into these altercation with these ladies and actually no one like i said no one is really holding her accountable so she's in an altercation this season once again with a new cast member and i, I know i've been calling her um can't remember her name is actually mia so i'm so sorry about that guys her name is mia and she's not she's an entrepreneur she's certified she calls herself a certified boss and she is married to someone who's 32 year 32 year 32 years her elder um so that's gonna be interesting to see so she kind of has that um kind of like her relationship and her marriage is pretty much like a karen that's who i would describe her as just because they have older husbands and they were married to um, husbands that were much older than them um let's also talk about the new castmate that they're also bringing in her name is s kelly davis so she is an ethiopian american so she is going to be introduced to us as one of robin's friends of the show so this is the first time robin has actually brought someone to the show so that's really really interesting especially as a friend of the show and it, i'm excited to kind of see how her dynamic with the ladies are going to be just because she is she has an african heritage similar to wendy so she has that kind of like really go-getting um attitude about her so i'm really excited to see like how the dynamic with wendy and the ladies and also um um as kelly her relationship with the other ladies is going to be um so yeah like i'm really excited about this season so it's going to be premiering july i want to say july 11th but it's going to be premiered mid-july i'm excited um potomac is one of my favorite shows and let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Robin is going to be married to Juan? They didn't really talk about it too much on the show or, sorry, in the premiere or the trailer. But do you guys think they're actually going to get married? Do you think that Wendy is going to, like, what are your advice would you give Wendy? Would it be, you should have known so, that Giselle was going to be 
was going to do this. This is your sophomore year of the um of being a housewife so they're not gonna lay it easy on you especially how they did your freshman year they're going to dig deep and what do you guys think about Giselle and um pastor Jamal Bryant's relationship I know she was really crying um during the um during the in the trailer because she was telling one of her friends that you know th- with this whole COVID she can't really do a long a long distance relationship I'm just like Giselle it's been revealed that you guys are not in a relationship like it was revealed during the reunion like come on Giselle uh so yep. so far for Karen's vow renewal I know that they were saying that some castmates weren't really trying like they weren't attending they were not trying to attend so t- production had to come in between and I maybe talked to the castmates so they were trying to back out. Like, I'm just wondering who could those castmates be? Well, one of them for sure I know is probably Giselle. And maybe Robin because, of course, Robin does everything Giselle does. So, of course, it's probably going to be one of the two. But we're going to have to see. Um, I don't know where Candace and Karen's friendship lies. Will they mend their friendship? Who knows? What about Mia? What about Eskeli? Ask. Kali, as Kali, which is she's going to be one of the new girls, which is going to be introduced. She's going to be introduced introduced to us as one of Robin's friends. So of course she's probably going to have more of a um, alliance or um, loyalty to Robin, possibly Giselle. Maybe they're going to form. Maybe it's going to be Ashley, um, Ro- uh, Skelly, and um, Giselle and. Robin, those are the four I think that may not want to attend Karen's wedding, and maybe production had to come in just because. I mean, Ashley, she she had her situation with Karen in the past, but they tended they seem to have mended relationship. But I don't know. Like I said, I always feel that Ashley, her alliance and her loyalty will always be towards Giselle to me they really have an undisclosed secret alliance when it comes to Ashley and Giselle because when Ashley it's like yeah she was kind of rocking with Monique last season but she has a deep deep alliance with Giselle like you guys may not be you guys are probably think oh um Robin and Giselle like Robin is more Robin and Giselle, yeah, they have an alliance, but watch out for Ashley. Ashley has her a loyalty, her allegiance will always be to Giselle. Yeah, she may float the fence like, yeah, she's playing neutral. Her alliance, like I said, her allegiance is with Giselle, and it has always been with Giselle. She can be the neutral side when it comes to Monique, the Monique situation and stuff, but she's aligned and will always be aligned with Giselle so I don't really I'm like I said I'm just don't really trust Ashley too much when it comes to Giselle and when it comes to her friendship with Karen because if Giselle says okay yeah we're going to I'm not gonna go she may just not go you know she may just not go um just because her alliance is with Giselle um yeah I think that's pretty much it for my thoughts and opinions for the reu for the trailer let me know what you guys think so far um did you guys like it did you guys watch it um let me know your thoughts and opinions please be sure that one you like this video and also you have subscribed to our channel because it really helps us out with the algorithm thank you guys so much peace love and blessings